Zeus. Huh? What would, what was going on with him? How come you were like basically, I guess maybe his bodyguard or maybe his dr like driving around and stuff? Was I was his keeper. Done? I was his <laughs> keeper. There's no two ways about it. Well, you gotta realize there's nobody that's gonna just walk in to the wrestling industry business machine, whatever you want to call it, 88, 89, uh, where you're we're working 200, 250 days a year, sometimes 11, 12, 15 straight days. Uh, that many different towns, that many hotels, that many cars. Uh, you don't know. You don't know. And he had no. He had no way of keeping all that organized. He had no. He had no clue. And so they take somebody like me that I know. I've been on the road for years now, uh, and they pay me to get him from town to town and make sure. It's kind of like what Tim White would do for Andre. Right. Even though Andre knew how to travel, I mean, he and Frenchie before Tim White and when he was in the territories. There are there are certain people you just kind of get them around. Like Andre wasn't because he didn't know, he just had he had to have help, you know, being Andre and not fitting in places and so forth. Um, but Zeus had no clue. Not that he was a bad guy or, or a dumb man, or whatever. You don't you no one could walk in off the street and do what we were doing in those days. Couldn't do it. So you have to put him with someone that knows the system. And I knew. And so can you do this? Yes. This is what you're going to be paid. Plus you'll work and then you'll get your paydays for working. And I'm like, I'd be crazy to turn it. I'd be crazy to turn that down. And right. I didn't. Yeah. So were you training him too, like getting him ready for Hulk? I was a part of the package. By that, I was the one taking the bumps. Uh, Hogan would show him what he wanted. Beefcake was there. Um, Savage, Savage was there part of the time. And then he was on. He was in a couple of times. And he on Zeus only trained for like two weeks. And Patterson was there. And those were the only. And Mike Graham, I take it because we were at Sportorium in Tampa. And uh, the only one that was going to take the bumps was me. You know, those guys aren't taking bumps in the ring while well, they're training. Uh, so they just walked him through what they wanted him to do for like about two weeks. And then that's what he did was whatever they had walked him through. Do you that think that, do you think he needed more training though? I mean, obviously if he was going to stick around, yes, if he was going to stick around, no, no doubt for what they wanted out of him. It was perfect. One, you know, one or two matches and he ended up doing like four. Five pay per views, four SummerSlam, and, and no one four, Survivor Series. Yep, and then they had that one in December. He had the old board, the match in the movie. Yep, so they did four, right? And the original plan was just two, four, yeah. The original plan was just two matches, okay? Do the one, do the one, and then come back, get uh, Survivor, and, and blow it off. But he drew him money. So they kept him around. Uh, the movie didn't make any money, but Zeus and the Towns did. And so they kept him around. They even offered him a look. deal. Hmm? Yeah, he had look. And they even offered him to uh, a deal. I said, they, they, he brought me in because Patterson was talking to him. He brought me in because he, he didn't know everything Patterson was talking about. And he trusted me. And what they were going to do was they were going to bring put him on the road. Starting in January, uh, they wouldn't go to working full time. He would have like every other tour or whatever and train him in between the tours. And it, the money wasn't worth it to him. But that's how much he had drawn on those pay per views. They were, they were looking to bring him in to put him in the towns. He had the look, the size, the charisma, no yeah. doubt about it. He had it. everything Vince loved. He had everything Vince yeah. loved. Damn, that would have been actually kind of cool. I mean, I was always kind of a big fan just because of the whole part. I think, they would have, cool. I think they would have ended up exposing him. I mean, it was already obvious that he was green and green, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But it, it didn't stop him from selling tickets at the time or pay-per-view buys. It didn't stop that from happening. Had you put him out there and you're training, you know, on the job training almost, it would have exposed him. Him and Hogan obviously did make some money together. So that mm -hmm. you know, three pay-per-views or whatever it was, pretty mm -hmm. good. Can't can't get, you know complain about that. Nice. Well, people weren't doing that at the time. Yeah. yeah. So, 
He made some money. The fact that they kept him around as long as they did, you know, that should tell you anything you need to know about what, what kind of return on investment they had with him. 